In burn treatment practice around the world, conventional skin grafting often brings great suffering to the patients with post-operative scarring and disability. Rong Chang Shu, a doctor from China, was devoted to the study of innovative burn treatment techniques and invented Moist Exposed Burn Therapy, MEBT, which was proven to promote the physiological regenerative repair of wounds, providing a solution to the problem of post-operative scarring and disability. In order to popularize Moist Exposed Burn Therapy throughout the world, Dr. Shu founded Maybo Group, His wound treatment techniques have been widely used not only in China, but also in Mideast battlefields, U.S. military bases, and in disaster relief activities all over the world. During the research on burn treatment, Dr. Shu discovered the secrets of in situ regeneration and reproduction of tissue organs, thus realizing the dream of converting somatic cells into stem cells to regenerate tissue organs in situ. And finally, he invented the human body regenerative restoration science, which is deemed to be a milestone in life science exploration. In 1978, Rongsheng Shu was enrolled into Qingdao Medical College to study clinical medicine. At the beginning, he experimented with a brand new burn moist technology on damaged pumpkin rind, and then on other plants, animals, and finally on human bodies. He conducted numerous experiments to verify his new burn moist technology. When he graduated from college, he completed a graduation thesis of 250,000 Chinese characters on this technology and cured more than 200 burn patients. The moist exposed burn therapy, MEBT, matured gradually. In August 1988, MEBT, invented by Rongsheng Shu, was released. This release was acknowledged by Kuangming Daily when it issued a special article entitled Opening a New Area for Burn Treatment and Research. The article stated that the MEBT treatment was an important discovery and a great invention. In the field of burns treatment, Rongsheng Shu, a young Chinese doctor, had ascended to new heights. He not only proposed innovative thinking and new perspectives towards Burns treatment, but also developed a pure herb preparation that successfully treated both wounds and ulcers. A tremendous contribution to the world. Newsweek and CNN TV made special visits to report this technology successively. The technology has played significant roles in the following events such as the gas explosion in Bangkok, Thailand, scar treatment for the little princess of the United Arab Immigrants, Laoshong frontline rescue, field rescue in the Nansha War, treating victims following the Wanshan earthquake, and the Zokyu mudslides and the Binhai explosion, and others, too numerous to mention. MEBT was incorporated into the Decade 100 Technologies Program as a key medical technology to be promoted during the eighth five-year plan and adopted by the World Health Organization as a primary burns treatment technology. The clinical handbook for burns regenerative medicine and therapy was included in the National Spark Plan training series to be promoted in grassroots hospitals. The MEBT treatment gradually developed into a systematic regenerative medical technology. With this technology, 98% of extensive burns with TBSA can realize dysfunction-free healing without skin graft. Additionally, previously hard to treat wounds and ulcers, such as diabetic ulcers, severed fingers, open defect injuries, ulcers of lower extremities, deep ulcers, and so on, can also be realized in in situ regenerative restoration. In 1990, when he was conducting in-depth studies in the technology for burned skin and exploring the primitive cells for skin regeneration, 
Rongsheng Shu confirmed the functions of potential regenerative cells, ERC, and accomplished the in situ regenerative restoration of tissues and organs in clinical practice. On August 16, 2002, Rongsheng Shu announced the establishment and achievement of human body regenerative restoration science. Science and Technology Daily made a thorough examination of Dr. Shu's scientific achievement. The article was entitled, Big Bang of Life Science Induced by Tissue and Organ Cloning. They found not only that the major discovery and invention of Dr. Shu in the field of life science made the dream of the world's life scientists come true, that is, making use of stem cells to clone organs, but also that he had decoded the secret of human life extension by repeating the regenerative processes of organs. Taking the research of life science to new heights, passing over organ transplantation, thereby promoting the application of organ in situ regeneration for life extension. In 2009, Human Body Regenerative Restoration Science, or HBRRS, authored by Rongsheng Shu, described his research process and achievements in full detail, including the birth of Human Body Regenerative Restoration Science. This book disclosed that PRCs in the human body could be activated and initiated to become pluripotent stem cells in situ, which in turn may regenerate new cells and tissues. And in this way, damaged or diseased organs can realize in situ regenerative restoration and prosenescent organs can realize regenerative rejuvenation. With the completion of practical application of human body regenerative restoration science, in 2013, American President Obama announced in his State of the Union message and incorporated the scientific route of Rongsheng Shu's Realize the Regeneration of Damaged Organs into the new development policy for life science. The secret of human regenerative life was reported by media from countries around the world. In doing so, they recognized Dr. Shu's outstanding contributions to human beings in setting up the regenerative life science. Subsequently, Dr. Shu was featured on the billboard in New York's Times Square many times and further was awarded the International Prize of Golden Biotech by the Informal Economic Forum Club in 2013. In September 2015, during the 10th Annual Conference of the Clinton Global Initiative, commitment to action from urban to rural training doctors on moist exposed burn therapy, it was announced by Kevin Shu president of Mabo International, that 20,000 doctors were to be trained with NEBT regenerative medical technology in 2016. The main works of Rongsheng Shu have been included in the American National Library of Medicine. The English version of Burns Regenerative Medicine and Therapy, authored by Rongsheng Shu and published by Carger, a world-famous publishing house for biology, is described as revolutionary and amazing. Based on 20 years of clinical experience in treating tens of millions of burn patients from 23 countries in the world, the book Encyclopedia for Burns Treatment presented the extraordinary application achievements of burn regenerative medical technology. In addition, Human Body Regenerative Restoration Science, which contains more than 300,000 Chinese characters and 600 pictures that systematically introduce the achievements realized in the field of human body regenerative restoration science, embodies the profound values of regenerative life science. In April 2015, Rongsheng Shu left the world. Though he lived a short life, he achieved worldwide respect and left us tremendous scientific fortune worthy of being carried forward and developed further. After his passing, incumbent President Obama and former President Bill Clinton sent condolence letters, as did Debbie Wasserman Schultz, chairwoman of the Democratic National Committee, writing a letter expressing her sympathies at Shu's passing. The Los Angeles County Board adjourned its meeting to commemorate Dr. Shu. A member of the U.S. Congress awarded an honor certificate in memory of him and a representative of the governor of California, Jerry Brown, 
sent a letter to express his deep condolences. In New York Times Square, the crossroads of the world, the news of Dr. Hsu's passing was broadcast for four days continuously. In addition, the following occurrence happened in rapid succession. The establishment of the National Rongshan Shu Foundation in America and the Chinese Red Cross Foundation's Rongshan Shu Regenerative Life Nonprofit Fund. These events were followed by the launching of the Rongshan Shu Center for Regenerative Life Science at the University of Southern California. The formation of the Rongshan Shu MD Center of Regenerative Therapeutics in Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center of Harvard Medical School and the implementation of the Clinton Global Initiative Commitment from urban to rural, training doctors on moist, exposed burn therapy. While life science research around the world was still groping its way forward in the dark, Rongsheng Shu pointed out a new direction of life science, conforming to the natural laws of human life. This new direction will surely lead to an exciting new future in the development of life science around the world. Dr. Xu applied his scientific research findings of regenerative life science in human clinical practice and achieved great success that had never been achieved before. In doing so, Dr. Rongshan Xu laid the foundation for regenerative life science, and it is now necessary to complete his scientific work to fulfill the needs of generations to come. He spent his short life creating a legend of regenerative life science for a new world and the world will never forget him.